today we're going to be looking at how to create a Red Hot Chili Peppers type sound using the Line 6 Helix and I'm going to be using Can't Stop as a case study for that. So let's start with the amp because I think that's the most important thing and its settings and then we're going to look at each individual part of the song. So the amp that I've chosen to go with is the Brit 2204 and the reason for that is that's Line 6's uh, JCM 800 and the JCM 800 has been a part of the Chili Pepper sound for a long time. And here are my settings on it. Um, I am also going to put these in the description so that you can just read them. But these are my clean settings and it sounds like this. These are my dirty settings. Okay, it sounds pretty runchy, a lot of bass in there, more than I would normally use, but they do have that kind of loose bass uh, as a part of the tone. And I'll also put these in the description so that I don't have to squint and look at these tiny settings on the screen. So let's go back to my clean sound and let's take a look at the, at the tones used for the verse. So let's look at the verse. Okay, I am using the red squeeze as my compressor for this song and for most of my Chili Pepper sounds. And what I'm doing is I'm assigning all the parameters to a different snapshot. So that so as I change snapshots, the parameters change. So for the intro and the verse, the compression is at 7.0, uh, or the sensitivity, sensitivity I should say. The mix is at 60% and the level is at zero. And then I have the stupper overdrive with a really low overdrive that's set at 1.1, the tone is at 50% and the level is at seven. And I think that just kicks the mid-range a little bit more, helps the amp distort and brings that bright character that the verses is known for. Um, and those three together sound. Right, it's got that snappy, compressed, really nice sounding, funky overdrive that the verse has. So let's move on to the chorus. Uh, if you listen to a uh, master track for the guitar, you see that the chorus is a little bit warmer, a little bit cleaner than the verses. So what I did is I turned off the overdrive and I increased the compression to still kick it a little bit, to grab it a little bit, uh, to, be, to the compression to be a little bit more evident. And I brought the mix up to 85%. The sensitivity stayed the same and I'm pushing the amp with uh, five decibels in the compression just to give it a little bit of break still and it sounds like this and that setting can also be used for the bridge sound where it's still clean uh, where it goes So once the bridge starts modulating, the settings in the compressor change again. Uh, I bring the sensitivity a lot lower and I increase the mix to 74% and reduce the level. I bring in the flanger uh, and the settings are 4.4, uh, 2.7, the color is a 5.7, the, the freeze is off, the mix is 50% and the level is at zero. And this is the courtesan flange, it's supposed to be an electric, electric mistress. The overdrives are off and I have the transistor tape uh, at an eighth note with the feedback at 36%. The flutter is a 5.5. The spread is at 100 because I'm, I'm running in stereo and the mix is at 43%. And my reverb is just the same. And, and it sounds like this. Let's go to the really fun part of the song, which is the solo. The compressor is now up to seven again. Uh, the mix is down to 60 and the level is at 2.6. And then I'm going to the industrial fuzz, 
uh, which is set at 3.2 in the compression, the gate is at 1.1, the drive is at 3.7, and the level is at 7.7. .7. I also have a volume boost uh, to bring it a little bit higher, and the reverb has changed from the room to a hall, and I have a really long decay, the pre-delay is a zero, the low cut is at 166, and the high cut is at 10,000 hertz, and the mix is at 46%. Um, and it sounds like this. So that's the basics for Can't Stop, as well as a Red Hot Chili Peppers type sound. I'll be doing more videos like this and covering more songs by the Red Hot Chili Peppers as well as other bands. So if you wanted to see those, I'd consider subscribing because there's a lot more coming. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.